Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lunch with Art, the visual arts edition. We're inside of the Bailey Contemporary Arts today, inside of the Asteroids exhibit. My name is Galen Todd. Today's lesson is called What Hue Are You? We're going to be going over um, color study, color theory, and um, what certain moods and certain personality types correlate with primary and secondary colors. Come join along with me. To the viewer at home, it may seem like an artist just painting squares on a canvas, but after today's lesson plan, I'm going to teach you that certain colors actually correlate with certain personality characteristics and traits from red to green, blue to orange, and we're going to go through each one individually. Let's go through each one of these colors quickly and individually. When you think of yellow, it actually evokes emotions of warmth, creativeness, and energy. Red, passion, aggression, or even danger, like a stop sign. With orange, it evokes emotions of cheerfulness, warmth, or even optimism, like macaroni and cheese. With green, I think this one's a no-brainer. It's freshness, something natural, something even healthy. With blue, it's peaceful. It evokes emotions of serenity, as well as trust. With purple, the purple is the color of luxury. It also evokes emotions of imagination and playfulness kind of like Barney at home. Black, you may think is darkness, but actually it can evoke positive messages of authority, power, wealth, and even sophistication. And then lastly, with your white wedding, white evokes emotions of purity, simplicity, virtue, and even innocence. Having just a basic understanding of color and their personality traits has numerous practical applications. It could be picking out a tie for a job interview, or maybe two colors for a sports team or a business logo. But because this is a visual arts lecture, we're gonna put it into practice with four pieces that I have in front of me. Now, what I like to think of paintings as is intimate gift giving. Maybe you're doing a postcard or a painting or a watercolor for a friend or a loved one. With these traits, you can actually pinpoint what colors you should use that may evoke certain intimate emotions for the person that you're giving it to. I have four friends in mind that I'm gonna be gifting four separate paintings, and I wanna break down the personality types and why I chose the scene in front of you. And uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. When I thought of my first friend, um, in the most beautiful way possible, she likes to keep it simple. And when I think about our friendship, she's always very stable. So if we go back to our color board, simplicity comes from the color white and stability actually comes from the color brown. So I have kind of a dusty scene here, maybe Southwestern, maybe over a cattle ranch. And you would think that I would paint the clouds white, but because we're gonna be selective on our colors, I'm actually gonna fill in the clouds with my brown marker. So we'll do a couple here. And we'll see when the gift is opened, if it matches up with my friend's personality type. Now, when I think of my other friend, I think of her as being very healthy because that's very important to her as she's getting older. And I also think of her warmth and her creativity. So just starting with who she is as a person, I came up with green and yellow. And immediately I thought, okay, how about a lemon tree? So here, to the right, I have a lemon tree. So we'll color in some lemons here. The green of the branches are green, the lemons obviously being yellow. I may go in later with my black marker. I may actually use other colors, but the dominant colors coming through are the two that I selected. When I think of my third friend, she's always optimistic. She's always thinking of the brighter things in life, and she's very imaginative. So when I thought of imagination and optimism, I came up with this almost surreal sunset, but maybe it's not even on this planet. Maybe it's on an extraterrestrial planet. Maybe it's on Mars or in another galaxy. Because she uses her imagination, she's gonna immediately be drawn to this because it's out of this world. And the orange evokes this warmth and brightness and that optimism that we were talking about. So it's gonna hit each one of those points perfectly. 
Now, lastly, my last friend, she's very powerful. She's in a place of authority. But even though she has all of these traits of being someone who is over you, she also is very soothing, very trusting, and every conversation I've ever had with her has been very peaceful. So I thought of the colors blue and black. When I thought of blue and black, I immediately thought of the song Blue Moon. Maybe that's why that singer chose that song, Blue Moon, because it evokes these certain emotions. So I did a nighttime scene here with a silhouette. You can use black to cover any item, really. It could be an animal or a tree or a mountainscape, but silhouettes are only black with one color in the background. So even though I use the white of the clouds and a little bit of purple, the dominant colors are that blue and that black. And hopefully, compared to the other three, you're getting a certain mood or certain emotion that you can connect to that person directly. Again, going 360 to an intimate gift for someone else, or maybe for yourself. So now we know a little bit about how colors get along with each other, and here's the fun part. If you're sitting at home and you have your supplies out in front of you, but you don't know what you're gonna do next, go back to the board and pick out two personality types that either relate to you or who you're giving that gift to, and you may be surprised that an idea will come out just like that. If it's purple and yellow, maybe it's your favorite basketball team. If it's red and green, let's think ahead for a Christmas card. As for me, my colors are purple and white, and it helped me pick out this t-shirt for this video. We're looking forward to seeing what you do at home or what your outfit's gonna be for tomorrow. Again, my name's Galen Todd, and we'll see you next month.